In this demo, we'll see how to conduct corporate actions using the Polymath Token Studio on Polymesh. And specifically, we'll look at making a dividend payment to our token holders. To do that, I've created a token. It's the Corp Q token, as you can see here. And the Corp Q token currently has three token holders. You can see one holder has 3,000, and the next two have 5,000 and 2,000 Corp Q tokens. To make a dividend payment, we'll head over to the Corporate Actions tab. And when making this dividend payment to our token holders, we're going to do it in the form of ALCI, which is just a stable coin that we've created on the ALCI owned testnet for Polymesh. So ALCI has no real value, but you could think of it as being something like a stable coin, where it's perhaps backed one to one by dollars or euros or whatever the case may be. And we can see here the corporate action agent, which is myself, which is 0x15f7. The corporate action agent currently has 31,140 ALCI to make a dividend payment. The first thing we'll need to do to make a dividend payment is create a snapshot of our current token holders. So let's click this button here. And we have the option to create a one-time checkpoint or a snapshot schedule. So we can actually take snapshots on a recurring basis, perhaps if we need to make dividend payments every quarter or every month or every year. But for the purposes of this demo, we'll just make a one-time checkpoint. We'll confirm here and we'll sign the transaction with our wallet. We see we've now created a new snapshot on April 2nd, 2021 at 11.07 a.m. To proceed to the next step, let's click new dividend payout. So we can see here the snapshot has collected our token holders from the snapshot time. So we have three token holders as we saw earlier in the demo. And so here we need to decide if we want to exclude any of the token holders from the distribution. Just looking at my wallet here, I can see that 0xA67 is actually another wallet that I control, so let's not make a dividend payment to that wallet. And you might need to exclude token holders from a dividend payment for any number of reasons. Perhaps a few investors have a different agreement with the company. Perhaps one of the token holders is the company itself, which you wouldn't need to make a dividend payment to. Whatever the case may be, we can very easily exclude token holders from this distribution. So I'll exclude this one address and click continue. In the Polymath Token Studio, we also have support for tax withholdings. So let's say I need to withhold taxes from this address at a rate of 25% and from this address at a rate of 10%. You can very easily do that and we'll continue. So a summary, we have three token holders. We're excluding one of them from this dividend distribution. So two token holders will be receiving dividends with both of those token holders having some of the dividend withheld for tax purposes. For dividend payout name, we can call this Q2 2021. For the declaration date, we can make that today. And the expiry date denotes at what point must the token holders accept the dividend payment. So we could say this dividend payment will expire 30 days from now or even a year from now. The important thing to note here is that on Polymesh, how our settlement system works is the receivers of tokens must actually accept those tokens. And we'll see what that looks like from the token holder point of view once this dividend payment has been made. Let's say the expiry date is a few months from now. And so we're making a dividend payment to holders that are holding a collective amount of 8,000 Corp Q tokens. Remember, there was 10,000 Corp Q tokens, but we removed the holder that had 2,000 Corp Q tokens from this dividend distribution. And let's just select two. So for every one Corp Q token that a token holder holds, they'll receive two ALCI. And we can see that reflected here with the total payout amount of 16,000 for 8,000 Corp Q tokens. We'll configure dividends, we'll confirm, and we'll sign with our wallet. Creation was successful. And just one more transaction assigned here with our wallet. And now we're taken back to the corporate actions tab where we can see we have our April 2nd, 2021 snapshot taken here and we have the dividend distribution in progress. And the details show that this dividend payment is in progress where we're distributing 16,000 ALCI. We had three token holders at the snapshot time. We're excluding one of those token holders. So two token holders will be receiving dividends and both of those holders will be having some of the dividend withheld for tax purposes. And that exact amount withheld for tax purposes is 2,500 ALCI, which will be sent to 0x15f, which is myself. And now we'll take a look at the point of view of the token holder who sees a dividend distribution coming in in the form of ALCI. So now we'll switch to the point of view of the token holder looking at the Polymesh dashboard. We've now switched to the point of view of the token holder you can see here we're now working with 0x2DE, which is one of the token holders of the Corp Q token. And we're on the Polymesh dashboard, specifically in the Portfolios tab. And we see here in Incoming Dividends, we've received a dividend from Corp Q in the past of 4,500 ALCI, which we accepted. We've also accepted a dividend from Corp M in the past of 360 ALCI. And we have the one outstanding dividend that was just paid by Corp Q of 4,500 ALCI. So let's go ahead and accept this dividend. We'll click Accept. We'll confirm, 
we'll sign with our wallet, and the dividends were successfully accepted. As the token holder, we can now see we've accepted that new dividend that just came in, and our balance of Alcyon testing stablecoins has gone up by 4,500 Alci. And finally, we'll briefly switch back to the point of view of the Corp Q issuer to see what they see. So 6,000 Alci has been paid out. 1,500 of that was routed to our own wallet for tax withholding purposes, and 4,500 Alci was distributed to the token holder. And the remaining 10,000 Alci has yet to be accepted by the other token holder. And that ends this brief demo on corporate actions using the Polymath Token Studio on Polymesh. If you have any questions, I recommend going to our website, polymath.network. And we also have a number of other demo videos that show you how easy it is to create and manage security tokens using Polymath. Thanks.